blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, comforter of the spirit of truth, for ever we are present and fill us all things, the treasury of blessings and the giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Spirit, do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gaveth birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And we pray for his beatitude, our patriarch John, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Ya Rabburham, Ya Rabburham, Ya Rabburham. God and love us mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life giving, and undivided Trinity. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, open thou my lips, my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art to shield for me my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. 
I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord, thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure, for thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over my head, as in heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sores, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope, thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me, make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me, make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul thirsteth, thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintance into darkness. 
O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father, father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so, so he flourisheth. For the wind shall passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the works of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this holy house and those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For his beatitude, our patriarch John, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For health, 
healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, the all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. Allah, Rabbu Dharalana Mubarakun al Ati Bismirrah. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh. In the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. Allah, Rabbu Dharalana Mubarakun Il Ati Bismirrah. Having learned the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel. The women disciples of the Lord cast from them their parental condemnation and proudly broke the news to the disciples saying death hath been spoiled. Christ God is risen granting the world great mercy. Having learned the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord cast from them their parental condemnation and proudly broke the news to the disciples, saying, Death has been spoiled. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy sound hath gone forth into all the earth, which hath received thy word. Thereby thou hast divinely taught the faith, thou hast made manifest the nature of all things that be. Thou hast adorned the ways of man, O namesake of royal priesthood, our righteous father Basil. Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. amen. Our human form hast thou taken on thyself without change. 
O greatly compassionate Master, though being God by nature, fulfilling the law, thou willingly receivest circumcision in the flesh, that thou mightest end the shadow and roll away the veil of our sinful passions. Glory to thy goodness unto us, glory to thy compassion, glory, O word, to thine inexpressible condescension. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Theotokos. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o for thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment-bearing women glanced into the entrance of the tomb. Because they could not bear the brilliance of the angel, they trembled in astonishment, saying, Hath he been stolen who opened paradise to the thief? Or is he risen up, who before his passion did preach resurrection? Verily, Christ God has risen, granting resurrection and life to those who are in Hades. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us extol Basil, for he is a royal adornment of the Church of Christ, and an inexhaustible treasury of doctrines, through whom we were instructed to worship the Holy Trinity, united in essence and divisible in persons both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. The maker of all and the Lord of the world who is in the highest with the Father and the Spirit is circumcised on earth as an eight day old child. Verily divine and wonderful are thy works for thou wast circumcised for our sakes, O Lord, since thou art the perfection of the law. Thou didst rise from the tomb, O Christ Savior, our God, because thou art deathless and thou didst raise with thee thy world by thy resurrection, didst crush the might of death, proclaiming resurrection to all Wherefore we do we glorify thee, O thou who alone art merciful and the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst pour out the mystic richness, the richness of the ineffable wisdom in thy divine visions. Thou didst store for all the waters of orthodoxy, gladdening in a divine matter the hearts of believers, and drowning rightly the doctrines of the infidels. Wherefore, in both cases, thou didst appear in the power of true worship, contending undefeated for the Trinity. Therefore, O Bishop Basil, intercede with Christ God to grant forgiveness of sins to those who eagerly celebrate thy holy memory. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Lord, since thou art the deep of love to mankind, thou didst put on the likeness of a servant and was circumcised in the flesh, granting all mankind thy great mercy. That is refute by thy divine sayings, the obscure heresies, drowning all the folly of Arius, and preaching to mankind the divinity of the Spirit. And by lifting up thy hands, thou didst kill thine enemies, ex exiling the worship of Sibelius holy, and didst annul the opinions of Nestorius. Wherefore, O Bishop Basil, intercede with Christ God to grant forgiveness of sins to those who eagerly celebrate thy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The grace of thy divine words and the mystic height of the teaching hath been a ladder leading upward for us. For thou, O Father, having obtained a spiritual trumpet, having proclaimed the do divine doctrines on it, therefore, O holy monk, thou hast gone to dwell in verdant pastures, having received the rewards of thy struggles. O Bishop Basil, intercede with Christ our God for those who keep feast with love in thy holy memory, that they may receive remission of their sins. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Verily, the Lord of all and our Creator, having taken flesh from thy holy womb, is revealed thee, O Lady, innocent of all blame, as a helper of mankind. Wherefore, in thee do we seek refuge, petitioning forgiveness of sins, and that we may escape everlasting punishment, 
and all the harm of the wicked one, the prince of this world. Wherefore do we cry unto thee, intercede with thy Son and God, to grant forgiveness of sins to those who worship in faith thine all-holy child. Blessed are the blameless in the way who walk in the love of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies. With their whole heart shall they seek after him. For they that work iniquities have not walked in his way. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. And shall I not be ashamed when I look upon all thy commandments? I will confess thee with uprightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes do not utterly forsake me. Wherewithal shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? With my whole heart have I sought after thee. Cast me not away from thy commandments. In my heart have I hid thy sayings that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death and with thee raising up Adam and releasing all men from hell. Mubarakun anta ya Rabbi alimni huquqa Wherefore, O women disciples, do ye mingle sweet smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the myrrh-bearing women, Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. <speaking in Hebrew> Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The myrrh-bearing women mourned as bearing spices. They drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, why number ye the living among the dead, in that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto ages of <coughs> ages. Amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O Virgin, Thou didst redeem Adam from sin And didst give to each joy in place of sadness And he who was incarnate of thee Both God and man 
hath restored to life those who had fallen there from. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theo. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 al majdulaka ya Allah, ya hilahana wa rajana, laka al majd. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Most holy Theotokos, save us. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For blessed is thy name and Glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment-bearing women hastened, running to the apostles, and related to them the account of thy resurrection, O Christ, saying, Thou hast risen because thou art God, granting the world great mercy. The many sufferings from my youth combat me, but thou, O my Savior, assist and save me. O ye haters of Zion, depart in shame from before the Lord, for ye shall be dry by fire as the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, every spirit shall live and shall be purified, ascending and brilliant, through the one hidden and pure trinity. To thee, O Lord, have I cried fervently from the depth of my soul. Let thy divine ears listen to me. All who have... Those who have placed their trust in the Lord shall transcend all sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Holy Spirit doth overflow with streams and passages of grace, and doth water all creation with refreshing life. Let my heart rise to thee, O word, and let not the pleasures of the world enter in me to vie with the earthly life. And as each of us hath surpassing love for his mother, the more should we love the Lord with utmost fervor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit cometh the riches of divine knowledge, divine vision, and wisdom. And through him the word doth proclaim all the commandments of the Father. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. O God, with our own ears have we heard. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, who restest in the holies, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God and his saints. Praise him in the firm foundation of his power. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading 
is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they ran toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first, and stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying, and the napkin which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their home. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we know none other beside thee, and we call upon thy name. O come all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection, for love through the cross is joy in all the world. And the blessing of the Lord, let us sing in the resurrection, for anything in the earth across the earth is destroyed to death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before thee. Against thee have I sinned and done evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear with joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. Then shall I teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou, if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in the good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall I offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the intercessions of the apostles of thou, who art merciful. Blot out all the multitudes of our 
transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitudes of our transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to Thy loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave, as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all audible, and foremost of the apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasio, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myr and Lycia, Spiridon of Trimethus and Ectaros of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, and Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Patron and Protector of this Holy Cathedral, Demetrios the Mer Streaming, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of the Hieromartyrs, Ignatius, the God-bearer of Antioch, Herolampos, and Eleftherios, of the Holy Glorious and Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Padeskeva, and Irene, of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and God-bearing Fathers who shone in the ascetic life, especially Pisios of Athos and Silouan of Athos, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints who beseech the only most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of the sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. and compassions and love for mankind of the only begotten Son with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now endeavor it unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst appear as an unshaken pillar of the Church, distributing <coughs> to all mankind in violent authority, and sealing them with thy doctrines, a righteous basil who revealeth heavenly things. The mingling bowl of chastity, the mouth of wisdom, the fountain of doctrines, Basil the Great, spiritually flasheth like lightning upon all. Come ye therefore, let us stand in the house of God, fervently fixing our gaze on his wonders with delight. And flashing with their light as with a beacon, let us warm ourselves with the purifying spirit of his life, imitating his faith, his fervor, his humility, whereby he was shown to be indeed a house of God. And unto him we cry out in praise, O righteous Basil, who revealeth heavenly things. On January 1st in the Holy Orthodox Church, we celebrate the circumcision in the flesh of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. It being the eighth day after his birth, we commemorate also the giving of the name of Jesus. Christ being circumcised, the law is cut off, and the law being cut off, grace is brought in. 
He that in six days made the earth and heavens, now upon the eighth taketh the name of Savior. The divine child was present, presented in the temple and circumcised according to the law existing in Israel since the time of Abraham. The Old Testament circumcision was the prototype of the New Testament baptism. The circumcision of our Lord shows that he revealed, he received upon himself the true body of man and not just seemingly as was, as was later taught of him by heretics. Our Lord also was circumcised because he wanted to fulfill the entire law which he himself gave through the prophets and forefathers. Thus the Apostle Paul declares, for neither does circumcision mean anything nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. On this day, we also commemorate our Father among the saints, Basil the great Archbishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia. Though he hath died, Basil in the Lord yet liveth, and he liveth with us. Speaking from his writings, on January 1st thou didst die, O Basil. While still unbaptized, Basil spent 15 years in Athens where he studied philosophy, rhetoric, astronomy, and all other secular sciences. His colleagues at that time were Gregory the Theologian and Julian, later the apostate emperor. In his mature years, he was baptized in the River Jordan. He was Bishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia for almost 10 years. He was a great defender of orthodoxy, a great light of moral purity, a great theological mind, a great builder and pillar of the Church of God. Basil fully deserved the title great. In liturgical services, he is referred to as the bee of the Church of Christ, which brings honey to the faithful and with its stinger pricks the heretics. Numerous works of this father and the church are preserved. They include theological, ascetical, and canonical writings, as well as the holy and divine liturgy named after him, which we celebrate today. Basil reposed peacefully in 379. On this day, we commemorate also the new martyr Peter of the Peloponnesus. By the intercessions of thy saints, O God, have mercy upon us. Amen. The Lord mighty in war uncovered the foundations of the deep, and he led his own through dry land, but covered their adversaries in the deep, for he is glorified. Israel walketh the seats unsettled, surging, which is shown again to be dry land and solid. But the Egyptian captives are hid in in lightless deep, in a grave of spreading waters, by the mighty strength of the right hand of the Master. The Lord who granteth strength to our kings and exalteth the horn of his anointed is born of a virgin and cometh unto baptism. Wherefore let us cry out, O ye faithful, there is none holy as our God, and there is none righteous save the O Lord. All that are rescued out of the ancient meshes of devouring lions whose teeth are broken, let us rejoice now, opening our mouths in gladness, weaving of words a melody for the word whose delight it is to bestow gifts upon us. He whom thou didst call the voice of one crying in the wilderness, O Lord, heard thy voice when thou didst thunder upon many waters, bearing witness to thy Son, and being wholly filled with the Spirit, who was present there, he cried, Thou art Christ, the wisdom and power of God. Lens with the torch, light and fire of mystic vision, <coughs> the prophets singing hymns of mortals renewal. His voice he raiseth, which is moved by the Spirit, showing the unutterable words incarnation, who hath wholly crushed the dominions of the mighty. Jesus, the author of life, cometh to loose the condemnation of Adam, the first fashion, 
And though as God he needeth no cleansing, for the sake of him that fell he is cleansed in the Jordan, wherein having slain the enmity, he bestoweth peace that passeth all understanding. Wash with the cleansing and <coughs> laver of the Spirit, from all the poison of the mild and murky foeman, we have been set on a new path and unerring, leading to inaccessible joy and gladness found by them alone with whom God is reconciled. The voice of the word, the lamp of light, the morning star, the forerunner of the sun, Crieth in the wilderness unto all the people, Repent ye and be cleansed. While there is yet time, for behold, Christ is come to deliver the world from corruption. With voice most blissful, the Father made known clearly his beloved who from the womb he had brought forth. Yea, he saith, while he is my child and of my nature, he sprang forth from mankind, beaming bright with splendor, both my living word and by providence immortal. As the godly children stood in the furnace of fire, a whistling wind heavy with dew, and the divine angels distant preserve them free from harm. Wherefore be dood in the flame, they sing with thanksgiving. O oh, thou who art supremely praised, the Lord and God of our fathers, blessed art thou. The heads of the dragons were burned within the river by him that lulled the upraised flame of the furnace, which had encompassed the right religious children. He doth wash away with dew of the Spirit all the forward gloom that sinning doth engender. A strange mystery was shown in the furnace of Babylon when it flowed with dew, that the Jordan would afterwards receive in its streams the immaterial fire and would contain the Creator baptized in the flesh, whom the people bless and supremely exalt unto all the ages. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Now is creation restored again to freedom. They are the sons of light who before were in darkness. Only he groaneth who is the prince of darkness. Let the once wretched heritage of the nations earnestly now bless the author of their blessing. <clears throat> Magnify, O my soul, who is more honorable and more exalted in glory than the heavenly host. O thou who from thy virginal loins ineffably lentest a body unto the luminary that was before the sun, even God, who has dawned upon us and dwelt among us in the body, O blessed and all pure Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Magnify, O my soul, him who accepted circumcision in the flat on the eighth day, according to the law. Verily, Christ, having passed all the bounds of human nature, was born of the Virgin in a supernatural manner and was circumcised in the flesh 
fulfilling the law. The day the Lord is circumcised in the flesh as an infant fulfilling the law, and his name is called Jesus. Come, let us celebrate in holiness the glorious naming of Christ the Master. For today he was called Jesus as worthy of God. And with all, let us magnify the memory of the high rock. Magnify, O oh my soul, Basil of Caesarea, the great among bishops. O oh, Father Basil, as a faithful lamb, thou didst follow in the life bearing steps of Christ, the chief shepherd. And thou didst go forth and offer thyself to the tyrant, valiantly endangering thyself for the sake of Christ. Magnify on my soul the exceedingly bright luminary of the whole world, who hath adorned the church of Christ, the utterless, ruinous tyrant, seeing the all-sacred assembly of Christ's church, Adorned with thine episcopy, fell down thunderstruck, O wise Basil, for he could not endure the brightness of the Spirit that was in thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Magnify, O my soul, the might of the three person and undivisible Trinity. Thou hast become worthy of, O Basil, the throne of the apostles. The rank of the martyrs for Christ, the tabernacle of patriarchs, the delight of the righteous, the assembly of the prophets, for thou was the servant of the Theotokos, and an initiate of the Trinity. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Magnify, O oh my soul, her that hath delivered us from the curse. Verily the Lord, who alone roofed with waters his high chambers, bridled the sea and dried up the waves, and was incarnate of the O pure virgin, doth come down from Bethlehem to Jordan to be baptized in the flesh. Magnify, O my soul, her that is more honorable and more glorious than the host on high. Every tongue is at a loss to praise thee as is due. Even the world transcending intelligences are dazed when they seek to praise the O Theotokos. For since thou art good, accept our faith, for thou knowest well our love inspired by God. For thou art the protectress of Christians, and thee do we magnify. Magnify, O my soul, her that hath delivered us from the curse. Past understanding are the wonders of thy childbirth. O thou, O all pure bride, O truly blessed mother. Through thee have we found full and perfect salvation, and framing thee a fitting hymn of thanksgiving, bringing it as a gift as to a benefactor. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Most holy Theotokos, save us. us. Our life under Christ our God. To the O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee they ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Alas, they took the Lord away as soon as Mary said this, then Simon Peter ran in haste to the tomb with the other, and is she at love by Jesus, 
And when they both came running, they found the linen cloth within, set apart from the napkin once on his head, each abandoned, cast off, and lying separate. And so again they held their peace until they had beheld Christ. O Father, Thou did circumcise Thy soul's uncircumcision With true love of philosophy And was shown to the whole world A son that shone with miracles O wise basil giving light Unto the minds of the faithful O thou godly initiate and Theotokos his servant Have he fulfilled the law as an eight-day-old infant is circumcised in mortal flesh, who as God made us the ages, and he is wrapped in swaddling clothes, as a mortal child of man, sustained with milk is the master, who with infinite power doth uphold all creation, and with his sway ruleth all things. Let everything that hath breath praise the shall be to all his saints. We glorify thy resurrection, O Lord Almighty, O thou who suffers crucifixion and death, and its rise from the dead. Praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Thou hast freed us, O Christ, from the first curse, and by thy death thou hast banished the insurgency of Diabolus, prevailing over our nature. And in thy resurrection thou didst fill all with joy. Wherefore we cry to thee, O thou Lord, who didst rise from the dead. Glory to thee. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. O Christ, Savior, who didst rise from the dead, lead us by thy cross to thy right hand and save us from the gins of the enemy. Stretch forth thine arm and raise us who are fallen in sin. Through the intercessions of thy saints, O Lord, the lover of mankind. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Only Son of God, thou didst come to earth, 
but was not separated from the paternal bosom. And because of thy love to mankind, thou didst become the unchangeable man. Thou didst suffer crucifixion and death in the flesh, O thou who in thy divinity suffered not. Thou didst rise from the dead, granting mankind immortality, for thou alone art almighty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grace is poured upon thy lips, O righteous Father Basil, and thou didst become a shepherd for the Church of Christ, teaching the sheep endowed with speech to believe in the consubstantial trinity of the one God. both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When the Savior condescended for the sake of mankind, he was willing to be wrapped in swaddling cloths. He who was a day old on the side of his mother and eternal on the side of his father did not disdain the circumcision of the flesh, Wherefore let us cry unto him, O believers, thou art our God, have mercy upon us. Glory to thee who has shown us light. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Thou who takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever. Yea, forever and ever. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have put our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. <laughs> Lord, Thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me, heal my soul. 
For I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. <laughs> Holy God, holy mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Aios Aios Iskiros, Aios Athanatos Eleisonimas. Kudusun Ella, Kudusun El Kawi, Kudusun Ella Dila Yamutrhamna. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, <coughs> have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, mercy on us. <clears throat> Today is salvation come into the world. Let us sing praises to him who arose from the grave, the author of our life. For having by death destroyed death, he hath given us victory. <laughs> and great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For in this holy house and those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, our patriarch John, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For in this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To the earth, to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Shout with jubilation unto the Lord all the earth. To his name, tell forth all his wonders. Say unto God, How awesome are thy words. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory <clears throat> of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Sing unto the Lord, chant unto his name. Out of Zion is the magnificence of his comeliness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. 
Calling to remembrance her all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> of thy mercies, O Lord, will I sing forever. Our human form hath taken on thyself without change. O oh, greatly compassionate Master, though being God by nature, fulfilling the law, Thou willingly receive circumcision in the flesh, that Thou mightest in the shadow and roll away the veil of our sinful passions. Glory be to thy goodness unto us. Glory be to thy compassion. Glory, O Word, to thine inexpressible condescension. Wisdom, stand upright. from the angel the women disciples of the Lord cast from them their parental condemnation and proudly broke the news to the disciples saying death hath been spoiled Christ God is risen granting the world great mercy Our human form hath thou taken on thyself without change, O greatly compassionate Master, though being God by nature, fulfilling the law, thou willingly receive circumcision in the flesh, that thou mightest in the shadow and Roll away the veil of our sinful passions. Glory be to thy goodness unto us. Glory be to thy compassion. Glory, O Word, to thine inexpressible condescension. Thy sound hath gone forth into all the earth which hath received thy word. Thereby thou hast divinely taught the faith. Thou wast made manifest the nature of all things to be. Thou hast adorned the ways of men. O namesake of the royal priesthood, O righteous Father Basil, Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved.
Today the Lord of all endureth circumcision, cutting off the transgressions of mortals. For he is good and granted salvation to the world. And in the heights the high priest of the Creator, Basil the light bearer, the divine initiate of Christ rejoices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For holy art thou, our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Attend. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Hear this, all ye nations, give ear, all ye that inhabit the world. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle, epistle to the Colossians. Let us attend. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, you have come to fullness in Him, who is the head of every ruler and authority. In Him also you were circumcised with the spiritual circumcision, 
by putting off the body of the flesh in circumcision of Christ. You were buried with him in baptism. You were also raised with him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. Peace be unto thee, little Christ. Shepherd of Israel, attend thou that leadest Joseph like a sheep. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. Stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. Unto thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to the Lord.
scriptures tell us that he grew in favor with God. So at the same time, he remains perfect God, and yet as man, he grows like us. And this is true throughout his life, that even though he is God who needs no food, as man, he hungers. Even as he is God who knows all things, we find in the scriptures certain things that he, as man, does not know. Now this is not just some sort of fat boys who you know, file away in their head for orthodox trivial pursuits. <laughs> but as I said, this perplexity, this paradox, seeming paradox, is at the heart of our faith. Because the Son of God did it for a reason. He took on that human nature which is completely alien to God, but he took it upon himself for a reason, so that he might transform our human nature, so that he might restore it to what it was meant to be in the first place. And so he goes through the whole process of being human, and through that process, enduring all the things that we endure, going through all the things that we go through, he did all of those things, and yet, unlike us, remained perfectly faithful to God through all of them. And so he became a new human being, a perfectly righteous human being, like us in every way, and yet the good version of us, leaving aside all of the sin that, uh, that weigh us down. So easily. By doing so, first of all, he gave us an example, a holy example of what it means to be a righteous human being. Look at today's gospel reading and see that, first of all, he loved to be in the temple, in the presence of God. And he loved to be concerned with the things of God. You know, he wasn't you know, at home playing video games or watching TV like many other people <coughs> today. But instead, he was obsessed with the Holy Scriptures, obsessed with the knowledge of God, obsessed with the worship of God. At the same time, providing perhaps some balance, we heard in today's gospel of <coughs> was obedient to his parents. You know, there, it's a little problematic to see him staying behind and think, you know, like, is he some kind of spiritual rebel? You know, like, I'm staying away from my parents and I'm going to be focused on uh, matters of faith. But that wasn't it. He was sort of forgetful of his parents. And that's why he remained. He sort of didn't notice that they had left. And he was so obsessed with the things of God that he didn't and when they came back, then he went with them and was obedient to them, showing us a model of obedience. And likewise, throughout the scriptures, throughout the gospels, we see our Lord Jesus Christ living in a way that exemplifies the way that we should live. It gives us an example and a model for us to follow. And of course, in his teachings, he stands on them. It helps us to grow in, in proper human now, next to that example that he gives us, he gives us something else, which is inspiration. Inspiration to follow here. Um, we see in the Gospels not just this holy life, but we see the outcome of that holy life. That by remaining faithful to God, persisting in faithfulness to God, in spite of all of the trials and temptations that assaulted him. But by remaining faithful, he came to a glory. 
that helps us to ourselves live that life of being amplified. And that is that he promises to share his perfected human nature with us. To implant his perfection in us. If we trust in him, if we seek him, if we bind our lives to him through faith and baptism, he will plant his spirit in us, he will give us his body and his blood as nourishment to transform our bodies and our spirits to give us the strength, that moral strength, to follow his example, to live as the kind of human beings that God wants us to be in the beginning. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, may we celebrate uh, a great wonder that the Son of God in His humility and His love for us was willing to take on our lowly human nature in order to Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom, that guarded always by thy might we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
<clears throat> all of you and all Orthodox Christians, <clears throat> may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. <clears throat> President of the United States, all our civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, the Lord God, remember them all in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. <laughs> the Orthodox servants of God, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of sins, especially the Metropolitan Paul, the Archbishop Johanna, Bishop Basil, Pam, Mona, Sammy, Layla, Sam, Jackie, Sam, Elizabeth, George, Aham, Diana, Natalie, Nicole, Mayan, Jane, George, Summer, Redmond, Demetra, Jennifer, Jessica, and Kaylin. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. This holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Peace, a faithful guide, 
a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate. Most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. Christ is I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and stood to the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us stand awry, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with thy
intelligent creature does serve thee and ascribe to thee perpetual praise. For all things are thy servants, yea, angels and archangels, kings, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and many eyed cherubim, praise thee. Round about thee stand the six winged seraphim, with two they cover their faces, with two they eat, and with two they fly, continually crying out to one another with unceasing praises. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, citizen of this world and giving commandments of salvation, he released us from the delusion of idols and brought us into a knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, having won us unto himself for his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and having purified us by water and having sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself a ransom to death, whereby we were held, sold into bondage under sin. And having descended into Hades to the cross, that he might pull all things with himself, he loosed the pains of death, and rose again on the third day, making way for all flesh unto the resurrection from the dead, for it was not possible that the author of life should be held by corruption, that he might be the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn from the dead, that he might be in all things the first among all. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he shall come again to render unto every man according to his works. And he hath left with us the memorials of his saving passion, these things which we have set forth according to his commandments. For when he was about to go to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death, in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and immaculate hands. And when he had shown it unto thee, the God and Father, and given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee. 
behalf of all and for all. Amen. Amen. And may we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and we pray unto thee, O our God. Wherefore, O all holy master, we also thy sinful and unworthy servants who have been made worthy to minister at thy holy altar, not for our own righteousness, for we have done no good deed upon earth, but because of thy mercies and compassions which thou hast richly poured out upon us, have thou boldness to draw near unto thy holy altar, and presenting unto thee the antitypes of the holy body and blood of thy Christ. We pray thee and implore thee, O holy of holies, by the favor of thy goodness, that thy Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth, and bless and hallow them, and show this bread to be itself the body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This cup to be itself the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, which was shed for the life of the world and its salvation. Oh, uh-huh. 
that took by the sword torn invasions of the war. Among the first be mindful, o Lord, of our patriarch John, whom do thou grant into thy holy churches, in these safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And of all Thy compassions, pardon me every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary, and withhold not because of my sins the grace of thy Holy Spirit from these gifts you're spread forth. Be mindful, o Lord, of the Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order, and put not to confusion any one of us who stand about thy holy altar. Visit us with thy benevolence, O Lord, manifest thyself unto us in thy rich compassions, grant us temperate and healthful seasons. <coughs> Give gentle showers upon the earth and the fruitfulness. Bless the crown of the earth, thy goodness. Make the schisms of the churches to cease. Quench the ragings of hostile nations. Speedily destroy by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Uprisings of heresies. Receive us all into thy kingdom, showing us to be sons of the light and sons of the day. And grant unto us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God. For all things hast thou given unto us. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise in all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with thy shield. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord, that our God who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly and ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. grace and compassion and love towards mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Lord Jesus. 
bounds which cannot be passed.
change, O oh, greatly compassionate Master, though being God by nature, fulfilling the law, Thou willingly received circumcision in the flesh, that Thou mightest in the shadow and roll away the veil of our sinful passions, Glory be to thy goodness, 
Glory be to thy compassion. Glory, O word, to thine inexpressible condescension. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy And having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Thou who for a sacrifice of praise and a wealth pleasing worship receivest this rational and bloodless sacrifice from those who with their whole heart call upon Thee. O Christ our God, the Lamb and Son of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, the blameless calf, which receiveth not the yoke of sin, and was sacrificed for us voluntarily who art divided yet not disunited, who art eaten yet never consumed, but sanctify us those who eat thereof, who in remembrance of thy voluntary passion and life-giving third-day resurrection has made us communicants of thine ineffable and heavenly and dread mysteries, thy holy body and thy precious blood. Keep us thy servants and the ministers of, and all civil authorities and our armed forces and the people here present in thy sanctification, and grant us at every time and hour to meditate upon thy righteousness that being led according to thy will and doing things that are well-pleasing unto thee, we may become worthy of a place also at thy right hand, when thou shalt come to judge the living and the dead. Rescue those of our brethren who are captives, visit those in infirmity, pilot those in peril on the sea, and give repose where the light of thy countenance shineth to the souls of those who have gone on before us to their rest in hope of the resurrection unto life everlasting. And hearken unto all who beseech thine aid, for thou art the giver of all good things, and to thee do we ascribe glory. Together with thine unoriginate Father, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and so forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and so forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and so forevermore. Please kneel for the prayer of the first day of the civil new year. Thou thyself, the walled master, blessed 
beginning thereof by thy divine grace. Break gentle showers on the fruitfulness of the earth. Send healthful season, seasonable weather for man and beast. Grant us to begin the new year in steadfast peace and harmony, crowned with the glory of earthly good things. And by the light of thy commandments, to pass the days graciously with a seemly disposition leading a virtuous life. Preserve well our holy church, strengthen and confirm our nation by the might of thy hand. Rear the infants, guide the young, support the aged, collect the scattered, unite them to thy holy church. May thy kingdom come upon us, the kingdom of all the ages, the kingdom of goodness, righteousness, and peace. And thou safe that with one mouth and one heart we may praise and glorify thee, the unoriginate and everlasting God in Trinity unto ages of Thy sound hath gone forth into all the earth, which hath received thy word. Thereby thou hast divinely taught the faith. Thou hast made manifest the nature of all things to be. Thou hast adorned the ways of man. O namesake of royal priesthood, O our righteous Father Basil, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. On this day, being the Feast of St. Basil the Great, we have the custom of cutting the vasilopita, which is basically means basil bread. Um, it will be cut first here in the cathedral and then taken to the fellowship hall. Uh, I think most of you know the custom is there is a coin inserted somewhere into the loaf. If you get the coin, you have extra blessings throughout the new year as long as you don't break your tooth on it. <laughs> and in that case, the dentist gets the blessing. <laughs> For our Lord Jesus Christ. For the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For our
Father among the saints, Basil the Great, whose feast we celebrate this day. For the great martyr George, the trophy bearer, patron of our cathedral. Thank you. 